In this video, I'm going to show you how to hack the file for discovery mode so you can extend the discovery mode from 600 seconds to 9,999 seconds. So assuming you've already got your, your zip code entered in, all right, side button, you're going to go ahead and set up discovery, so rotate down to discovery, hit enter, and you can hit, we'll just say trunking discovery, new session, press enter, and then on that screen just press enter again, and rotate to, uh, we'll just say Bush Gardens, confirm the site, and then you can call the discovery mode uh, session for that, whatever you want. So just uh, I would say B and then G, hit enter, select BG, enter. Now you go through. I like to select delay to 5, make sure logging is all, enter. Compare to database, always turn compare to database off if you want to record all activity on a system. Set record duration, typically I set it to 600, press enter. Timeout timer, you can, you can set that if you want. Alright, and then you go to start discovery and hit enter. All right. Now that created a file on the SD card. So the next section, you're going to back out, and we're going to connect the um, the power cable up to the computer. And it says USB cable detected. Select USB. Yes. Alright, now it's going to allow your computer to access it like a like an SD card. And the next video section will be the computer screen. So now that it's connected, I'm going to go in and click on the file name. This is, I think, the default file name, bcdx36hp, or directory structure, I mean. So you're going to double click on that. And then you're going to go into double click on discovery and then into trunk and then BG or whatever you called it, whatever your system is. And then there's a file named summary. Go ahead and double click on summary and you'll notice at the very top there's a row and over here it'll say 600. Well, you're going to backspace and go 9999. Then you'll click File, Save. Bingo. Now you just close the file. And from now on, whenever you save or whenever you uh, operate discovery mode on that particular um, session, you will have uh, a lot of time for every talk group on whatever system it is you're, you're listening to. And also, if you do that, you can do the same thing on conventional. And uh, it won't limit any of your conventional channels to 10 minutes. Because I'll roll conventional discovery for days at a time and it doesn't take much time at all to come across five or six channels that talk a lot and then it would cap out at the, the 600 seconds which is 10 minutes so with this method it'll it'll roll for um, I, th I think it's almost two hours per frequency per PL uh, so I just wanted to share that little hack with you guys I know once I figured that out it really expanded the capabilities 
in my opinion, of discovery mode. Uh, I prefer discovery mode over regular recording mode because discovery, it sorts it all out by frequency and PL as well as talk group on, on trunk systems. So much easier to work with if you're wanting to file the audio uh, compared to the regular mode where it just dumps everything into a directory and you've got to sort it manually. So discovery mode is so much better with this, this hack. So I just want to share that with you. Hope that helps you. After I finished that, I, I thought, well, let me, let me show everybody what it looks like to, um, to see more than 600 in each one of the, the discovery modes. So as you can see, on a couple of those, it's well above 600. And it'll, it'll continue rotating up to 9,999. I also wanted to say, uh, just from a review standpoint, I've used both the 436 Portable and the 536 Mobile. And I like the portable a lot better than the mobile. Uh, the mobile, I've noticed, is prone to crash. And when it crashes, you lose whatever files you were, you were recording uh, for that session. Uh, I mean, it, it's prone to crash a lot more than the portable does. Um, the mobile is also... Uh, it, the, the rotary knob, the selection knob, sucks. Uh, I've had mine in to replace that knob probably four times... In, in probably three years. Uh, I've never had a rotary knob fail me on a portable, so on the 436. So if you're looking for one, I would say steer clear of the 536. Just get a 436. Uh, they're the same internal structure. They receive the same stuff. Uh, I think the receivers are the same quality, at least in my opinion. So just wanted to share that with you, and uh, that's all I got.